How's she going, folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today, we're looking at a Think Center M10E. These things are pretty well priced. I think I paid about 700 Canadian for it. And we have a display port uh, over here. Never quite seen anything quite like that. Wow, audio port. Never seen one like that. So there's not even any uh, blue or green around that. I wonder why. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, serial, VGA, one, two, three, four, five, USBs. I'm just going to assume that those are all USB 3.0 and a cute little power supply. So, uh... You got two USB on the front, numbered uh, in a very Asian way, right to left. Interesting, we have uh, a headset, and then we have a microphone. I wonder if this is supposed to be an SD card reader. I don't think that actually opens up. Very cute little, very cute little CD drive. Now, here's a quick look at the inside. This particular unit, the E, actually has a one terabyte hard drive. Very small form factor, um, power supply. A space for a video, mini DVI, or not mini DVI, PCI. And if we take this stuff off, we should be able to see a little more of the front. Okay, that's not how I was thinking it would be. I thought something would uh, dive right open pretty much. I'm just going to mess around with this a little bit and see if I can get the hard drive out. Oh, wow. So I'm pretty sure if I want to get this thing out, I have to push this in, and that makes the CD drive pop out. Then I need to uh, take that Phillips out, and then it looks like the whole thing's going to flip up. RAM, the M2 memory card spot should be down there. Let me see what I can find. All right, so just as I thought, you pull that out, you pull the other thingy out, and you open it. What? No M2? No, that can't be right. What's that then? What's that? That looks like an M2 spot. Okay, so you can see right there. M2 SSD, but I don't see any way to mount that thing. I don't see a screw or anything. Probably something I'm missing. If you guys know something, I don't. Maybe that's it way back there. I hope that's it right there. Okay, yeah, so the E version of this system must just be the no standard or no SSD, no M2 card, just the one terabyte drive. And uh, that's about what we got looking at on the inside. Let's get this thing uh, turned on and give her a benchmark. All right, folks, let's run a benchmark and see how she does. I'll be right back as soon as the video starts. We're starting out with uh, 50 frames per second in the Intel HD graphics 630. Let me knock this up a little bit and you can see for yourself. That's some pretty slick movements there, boys. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's see how we do with some floating trees now. Eight frames per second. That's pretty choppy, I gotta say. Not looking too bad at all, I gotta say.
All right, so. All right, so we got a benchmark of uh, 2,739. That puts us close to the M715Q, and that was with the Ryzen 3 and the Ryzen 5. And this is just above the M73M, both from Lenovo. Both well, very good stuff. This is definitely a very capable system. Um, the disc is actually relatively quick. It's quicker than I thought it would be. Uh, 1245 yeah for a standard definition this is a uh, one terabyte 72 R 100 rpm should be good to go should be good to go so yeah that's it for me net from nest tech but it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff always appreciate it um, i'm trying to support a stay-at-home mom here and you got a disabled kid at home if you could uh, help me out there drop a, a like subscribe definitely help me out anyways take care of each other folks have a good one